Uh, check, check one, two, check one, two, three. Is it? Your mic's on. It's perfect. Okay. Um, is it covered? Yeah. Okay. You're good. Great. I'm going to start. Whenever you're ready. Hello. My name is Amanda Peterson, and for my political science project, I will be interviewing Marty Ingram and Michelle Watson. Marty is a right-wing ultra-conservative who will be voting for Daniel Crum this class election, and Michelle is the left-wing ultra-liberal liberal who will be voting for Millie Clark. Both are under the impression that their candidate is the perfect candidate for class president. And cut. Uh, Amanda? Yeah, Alex? Just letting you know, Michelle is out there yelling at someone with a pro-life sticker on their locker. Marty's wearing a hat that says Make America Great Again and is waving a Confederate flag. Then this project better get me an A. And a college recommendation. Bring Michelle in, please. Sure. Millie Clark is the most honest, kind, and qualified woman in the school. She is all about the people and never herself. It's time for a change in the classroom. Vote Millie today. Paid for by Millie's parents. Hi, Michelle. I'm Amanda. It's so great you have you to come. Please take a seat. So just put it on your collar, the shirt. Yeah, just like that. Perfect. Great. So, um, tell me, when did you first realize oh, I'm that? I'm sorry, I don't think her mic's on. Sorry, Michelle, could you stand up for a second so I could adjust your mic? Why should I stand for a country that doesn't stand for me? Hmm? Um, you do realize that that's an expression mainly said by people of color, which you're not. Black lives matter. You know, Millie supports all black people. She loves black people. Can we just stick to the interview, please? Okay. Okay, so you were quoted before saying that you support Millie because the worst woman is still better than the best man. Besides from the fact that Daniel's a man, what do you dislike about him? Daniel's just so, ugh, we're not going to talk about him because he's disgusting. But Millie, she's kind, she's loving, she's smart, she's a woman. She's the perfect candidate, really. What about the Snapchat incident? What? Or that time she was caught pushing a freshman into the lake? All of Millie's incidents. What are your opinion on those? Opinion? I don't have an opinion because that didn't happen. She never did that. She never pushed anyone to the lake. And this is ridiculous. I came here for an interview, not to be attacked. Goodbye. Wait, I never said I supported Danny. And she's gone. That was fast. That was not what I was expecting. I think we should just roll with it. I mean, Mr. Cladwell said that he wanted to see a deeper side of you, right? So if you want that letter of recommendation, then interviewing political extremists just might get you it. I hope you're right. Bring Marty in, please. Mm -hmm. It's hard enough to fit in here as a kid. The last thing we need are people who don't even live in this town. Build a wall for the students who don't belong. Paid for by the grandparents, aunts, and uncles of Daniel Crum. Is that a confederate flag? Sure is. Can you, Mike? Yeah. Mike's? Sorry, can it. Um. Hey, babe. Nah, I'm in an interview right now. The sweetheart is doing it is smoking. No, of course not hotter than you. Anyways, love you, pumpkin. Bye. Sorry, that was my sister. Uh, s sister? Yeah, my sister. Um, okay, let's, when did you first realize you'd be voting for Daniel? Well, Daniel tells it like it is. As soon as he said he wants to get rid of poor students, I knew I'd be voting for him. You know, there are a whole bunch of Mexicans just streaming into our district, and they're costing us a lot of money. And my parents are taxpayers. What about all the rich kids who are here illegally because of our science and arts Those programs? are good white children. You know, they actually help to better our school environment, unless they're Jewish. Um, hmm. What are your opinion on women and gay rights? It's simple. Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. But I'm not homophobic. I've got two gay friends and I try to hook them up all the time. You know, because they're gay. I'm straight though, so I mean... Um, what about a woman for a class president? What? No, she'll ruin everything. I wouldn't even expect you to understand. You're a woman too. Right, pal? 
Uh, okay, so uh, three small details. Um, I understand more than you think I do. Kind of cute one. Um, I'm Jewish, and don't you know that your candidate has done so many controversial things? You know, like dating that girl and then breaking up with her when he found out she was Muslim. There is no controversy. Daniel is the perfect candidate. You know, you liberals are too busy killing babies and going vegan to understand that the media, they're lying to you. <clears throat> just like they lie about global warming. You know, this entire interview, it's, it's fake news. I'm done. I'm Goodbye. not surprised he's leaving. I can't believe these people. I'm never going to get this project done. Now, it'll take some editing magic and a solid closing scene, but we'll be all right. What did you think of Michelle and Marty? I thought they were delusional. Why is that? Either one of them would be crazy to think their candidate is the perfect candidate. They're both deeply flawed, and I think people need to realize this. If both candidates are deeply flawed, how can anyone support either? There's no such thing as the perfect candidate. It's up to the individual to realize who is the lesser of two evils, and then, only then, will they be true supporters of their candidate. And there's our closing statement. Um, Amanda, if you don't mind me asking, who did you support? It doesn't matter. What matters is that I can recognize the bad of my candidate and I can still support them through anything. Is that so? Because I specifically remember a certain someone saying, what was it? Um, no student government is the best form of government. Our society is corrupt and we need to abolish formalized government before it's too late. Shut up. And turn the camera off. Daniel is not your model candidate, spending money on girls and publicly harassing students. While you pay, he plays. Don't let Daniel take your money. I'm Millie Clark, and I approve this message. How many more Snapchats does Millie need to send in order for us to get the message? She says she's trustworthy, but tell that to her streaks. I'm Daniel Crumb. And I approve this message.